Hello, you lot. Oh, Doug, Devonus Prime, is very relaxed in a reclined position. So I thought, I've got two choices. I can eat gas sleep, but I can do a review. Um, and this one won. So, um, I was at my local Tesco yesterday. And uh, I happened across this guy. This is, of course, Dark of the Moon Shockwave. Very, very nice figure. I've been waiting to find this guy for uh, a little while. So ever since I saw his, um, his uh, um, screenshots, or test shots, whatever you want to fucking call them. Um, very, very nice. Um, mine is a little bit sensitive. <laughs> I don't know if it's the same with everyone else's. Mine is, um, uh, this joint tends to pop off and the, the mech tech weapon, which is there, you push that in, it does go in and out. However, mine, one of the guns doesn't hold in very well, which, excuse me, which is a bit of a pain in the ass when it comes to posing him. However, I, I do see what the problem is one of the um, one of the um, pegs hold it not pegs one of the um, bolts holding holding it in holding the, the the cog and the bit of plastic in there is really really far out so I need to find somewhere pushing that back in now then, um, as I just said he comes with a mech tech weapon he is littered with I'm not going to call them mech tech ports because everyone calls them mech tech ports, yet you don't need to plug mech tech weapons in. That's not oh, that's not mech tech. Yeah, it goes into all of the ports. I'm gonna get the bloody hose out of the way for now. Yeah, so all all of these all, all of these ports. So this has got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, eight. If you remove the host, he also features one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clip points as well. So, but like as as I said, like it, it's not just the mech tech weapons that can fit into them. So, um, just, so for instance, let me just quickly plug this back in again. Plug that into there. You know, I've I've been messing about with messing about with him for a little while, and the amount of stuff that you can attach to him is is incredible. So this. A little mess around on camera. I'm sorry if you can hear the, the bloody music playing in the background, that's my neighbours, that is, the, who seem to think that I'm out when I'm not. So, look. You can have him armed literally to the teeth, and you you could you could go even crazier and just like remove this and attach this big fucking thing. Look, Like, obviously, you have to flip all this shit around, but it's um, like that. There you go, done, weaponized. But that's obviously RID Ultra Magnus's weapon, anyway. Getting back down to Shockwave, 
take all the crap that I've just put on it off. Right, what you want to do is untouch the hose. You then want to pull out the arms, like so. Flip them around at the shoulder, so they're pointing down. You then want to take the entire front section and pull that down. You then want to untab these treads from these treads. There we go. Like that. Lift the rib cage up first. Like so. You then want to untab the legs from themselves. Like that. Fold them down and bring them round. Like that. You then want to take these treads and fold them in on themselves. Like that. And tab the rib cage into those two weapon ports. That's what I'm going to call them weapon ports there. I need to have those in there. Like that, like so. Right. Um, you can take this weapon off. You can take these big cannon arm thing off, so which I'll, I will do for now. Um, his feet, you want to flip out the heel spur. Like so. Take the entire big grey chunky bit of plastic, push that forward and tab it in, do the same on this side, pull it out, down, tab it in and flip up his knee guards like so. You then want to take this piece, you want to flip it up, rotate it and keep pushing, right, there's a, there's a tab there, tab there, and the groove there where it needs to go. There is also a post there and a port there that need to connect up. Because the first time I did this, I didn't do that bit properly. And I was cursing Hasbro for not making it properly, but you do that and it, that's not coming out. Uh, you then want to take this port and bring it down. You then want to take this entire section here and push it down, like so. Flip that bit around. You want to then fold these bits in on themselves while continuing to push down. Yeah. So. No, yeah, there we go. So you've got to push it round and push it down again. That's it. And then it should, the top bit should latch onto this, and the bottom bit should latch onto this. Okay. And then what you want to do is fold out his hands. And then reveal the head, and there you go. That is Shockwave there. Now he's very, very nice. I have left it. I have left it for a. Uh, I have left it. I have taken the weapon off for for a reason, basically just to show that he does have a hand. And this is what I'm on about. That all I've got to do is rotate, it and it slides off. I don't know if that's. Uh, Problem with just my one, there. See that problem with just my one, or what it is, but it's, uh, it's a bloody pain in the ass. As long as I leave the arm like that, it's fine. It doesn't matter because because of that. But he he's still littered with uh, mech tech ports. <sighs> see mech tech ports. He's still littered with um, weapon ports. Um, he's got one there. Oh God, excuse me. Uh, two on his back, 
and actually three on his back because he's got that one round there. So he's gone from eight to four because that one I'm not counting. Actually five because that one you have to slot the weapon back onto it. So yeah, he's still four. Uh, <clears throat> totally your preference, you can have him with the hand or without the hand, I prefer without the hand. Um, and this as well, if you have it, if you have his hose tapped into this port under here, which is what they tell you to do, which I will show you now. So, which does make him look very, very cool. Um, it does limit his articulation in this arm. I know I just said that mine does fall off and that, but um, I do tend to try and display him like this. I have already taken the, the pictures for him and I have got him pretty much like this and like that. And lovely, lovely picture of him with Bumblebee's head in his hand. I just, I, I had to do it. It's, Okay, Bumblebee gets on my nerves. Um, he's sport. He's also sporting some very, very nice light piping. I don't know if you can see any, anything from that. I do have a laser pen, and I will. How's that? Is that any good? Is that bad? Um, very, very nice articulation. Nice. No, no ratchets for some reason. You can't really call that a ratchet, can you? It's like a ratchet, but it's not. Doesn't it's not doesn't give good click, as certain reviewers might say. Um, uh, his mech tech weapon, obviously, is that flips forward. It does lock into place, so you can have it like that. I like it. I like it, and I kind of don't. It's, we we'll get mixed feelings from it, um, but yeah, the, the having the hose under there does limit the articulation because, like, you push his arm up like that, and you can't have it forward because it will start dragging it down and things, and it's just all weird. And yeah, anyway, this is sh oh yeah. In his hands, he does also feature the little grooves, so he can actually hold weapons. Let's put that in there as well. So we can actually hold weapons. So if you want him to hold, I don't know, Wolf Cybertron Optimus Prime's gun. Um, doesn't look very effective, but this gun. Because he has to hold it sideways, so he, I guess you could hold it out like that. Um, this does look kind of cool though, the animated animated Megatron sword in his hand. No, that's kind of cool. Anywho, I'm just messing about now, I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing. Um, if you really, really, really wanted to fuck about it, you could just have them like this. There's got to be someone out there that's going to do a custom of this now. <laughs> if not, why not? Um, anywho, I'll catch you guys in a bit.